Today, blood splatter and DNA experts testified in the murder trial of Andre Jackson. He is the man accused of stabbing to death 11-year-old Josue Flores while he was walking home from school on the north side nearly six years ago. Adam Bennett has been in the courtroom every day of this trial. Adam, could this trial wrap up soon? Lynn, the DA's office tells me they think the prosecution could wrap up Monday, and then the defense is set to call three witnesses. But today we heard from forensic ex experts as well as more from the investigator who interrogated Jackson. He told the court that this crime scene is burned in his mind. Day five of trial started where day four left off. No video recording allowed by the judge while video of Andre Jackson's police interrogation was shown in court. During questioning by Jackson's lawyers, retired HPD Sergeant Tommy Ruland denied he felt media pressure to make an arrest. You were not there to help him, were you? Asked lawyer Justin Kider. Ruland replied, I was there to get the truth. The retired sergeant called Jackson highly intelligent, someone who seemed like he didn't want to talk, but rather wanted information. In the video, Jackson tells Ruland, quote, if you guys have a video of me stabbing this kid, all I can do is confirm it's me. Then later, do you have video of me killing him? That's all I need to hear. Josue Flores' older sister, Guadalupe, came back to court after speaking publicly for the first time during trial yesterday. It's been hard, and I can't imagine ever feeling what my dad's feeling. But all, I, all we can do is just be there for him. Flores wiped away tears, closed her eyes, and occasionally looked down as a blood pattern expert described photos of the crime scene for the jury. Celestina Rossi testified she was not surprised there was no blood on Jackson's shirt if Flores's killer attacked from behind, as three eyewitnesses had testified, because Flores had on a backpack which served as a buffer between he and his killer. The science of DNA is actually very complicated. Carlos Rodriguez has practiced law in Harris County for more than 20 years. He is not involved in this case. The DNA is so exact that every number has to be the same. So it's a lot more detailed than, than, than people may think. Late this afternoon, a DPS forensic scientist testified that the DNA on Jackson's belongings, namely his jacket, was inconclusive back in 2016. But then a cold case sergeant said they later sent it to a Florida lab where there was newer technology. That was the basis for these new murder charges that Jackson is now on trial for. We're waiting to hear from more people from that Florida lab coming up on Monday. Mia? We'll be looking forward to Monday and learning more. Adam Bennett, thank you so much.